Hi everyone, it's Jerry Dulac of the Post Gazette and it's finally here, day one of training camp at St. Vincent College. The players reported today. Let's see what they had to say. Kenny Pickett, he comes here a changed man. He's a, he's a, he's a married man. And uh, unlike last year, he's the uh, unchallenged starting quarterback. No more training camp competition with Mitch Trubisky and uh, Mason Rudolph. T.J. Watt said it's finally time to win a playoff game. It's a six-year drought. It's the longest since the Steelers first made the playoffs in 72. Let's win a playoff game. You could talk Super Bowl, but you're not going to any Super Bowl unless you win a playoff game. And the Steelers haven't done that since 2016. Najee Harris uh, echoing what a lot of running backs around the National League are saying. They are being undervalued and underpaid, and it somewhat makes sense because as a running back in the National Football League, you have a short shelf life, and it's tough for these running backs to get big contracts. We saw Saquon Barkley, one of the premier running backs in the league, having to settle for a, settle for a one-year $11 million uh, deal with the New York Giants. Uh, as you can see behind me, nobody here today. The Steelers is going to have the run test this afternoon. It is open to the public tomorrow, beginning at 1.15. That'll be the first practice on the field. No uh, shoulder pads until next week, until Tuesday. So the first five days of that acclimation period, they'll just be in uh, shorts and uh, t-shirts, basically. So it's not the same as when they're gonna put the pads on, so you have to wait until next week. But it's finally here, training camp at St. Vincent College. Everybody gets excited. There'll be a lot of excitement here tomorrow when, uh, when the fans are allowed to uh, that's going to do it here from St. Vincent College. Uh, St. Vincent College will be back with you again.